The number of people in the hospital has been going down in the panhandle. Idaho as a whole is seeing a dip in cases. But as Rania Kaur reports tonight from Coeur d'Alene, health experts are hesitant to celebrate. Operating under crisis standards of care in Idaho, many are waiting for this two-year-long fight against the pandemic to end. There is some good information from the state coming out. One of those is the positivity rate in the state. It had a high of 12, or uh, excuse me, of 17 percent, and it's now down to 12 percent, so that's positive. But that's not what we're seeing here in North Idaho. North Idaho's positivity rate is 15 points higher at 27 points. That means of all the tests they do, 27% are positive cases. Fewer people are being admitted to the hospital, but the Panhandle Health District doesn't think this is indicative of a long-term trend. Our inpatients at Kootenai Health are more than all of the inpatients in the Spokane hospitals combined. That is also true for patients who are in the ICU. Heritage Health has seen an increase in testing and the same demand of monoclonal antibody treatments from when they first opened. Peter Purrington is the chief clinical officer for Heritage Health. He agrees it's too early to believe they're out of the woods. Yeah, I think it's still a little premature to say that we're uh, on a, a true downward trend at this point. Uh, and clearly uh, in North Idaho, we're still seeing a high number of hospitalizations, a lot of, a lot of patients requiring critical care treatment and, and testing. Duffy believes the only way out is by vaccinating more people. There is a direct correlation between the percentage of a community vaccinated and what's happening in our hospitals. And we need to assist the hospital. We need to most importantly assist our entire community so that crisis standards of care is, is rescinded so that, so that the best quality care can be provided to all of our community. Reporting in Coeur d'Alene tonight, I'm Rania Kaur, 4 News Now.